So we have here a demo of our 3D Vision Pro solution. Those are the glasses you're wearing there. We're looking at a simulation of a beating heart that captures both the density data and the blood flow velocity. So because of the GPU that we have driving this thing, a single Quadro 6000, in real time, we can go ahead and we can actually see, as we visualize this, the beating of the heart and also the computation of where the blood flows. It's in stereo there. For your camera, I'll turn off the stereo and just give you one image to see here, look a little better. Um, and so you can see all the particles that are moving around there are the blood flow. That's all being computed in real time. I can move this model around. Oh, wow. I can move my seed unit around so it's not pre-rendered. We're not seeing some pre-rendered piece of information here. And this is actually artificially slowed down. We can, <laughs> we can run this back at standard heart beating speed as well. Wow. So something like this would be used in the uh, beating so the, heart surgery that we saw in the keynote earlier uh, today? So not quite. This is probably prior to that. Prior. This oh. is, so this is actually the data that we are visualizing here came out of a, a program at Stanford University where they're developing the instrument to capture both the MRI, the, the tissue density data, and the velocity data. In this case, this is what the doctor would use to see, oh, there is a problem with this heart. There is some. There is a problem in this heart somewhere. I don't know how to find it with the tools we have, but there is a part where the, I think one of the valves, the blood doesn't, the blood flows backwards through the valve. With this tool and this visualization, they can quickly get the sensor scan, move around, find that problem, diagnose the issue, and then work to maybe need the beating heart surgery to do it. The GPU that's in play here, again, that Quadro 6000, is what's making this a real-time process. Prior to working with the GPU, they would have to move the little, they'd, they'd make a move like this, go get a cup of coffee while the system rendered out the images for them, and then look at it. Oops, I put it in the wrong place. Okay, go again, do it. All right. And certainly no way of seeing stereo or any of that. Do you think that we could make it beat full time and then you could move it around while it's doing that? You bet. Cool. Very cool, thank you very much. Uh -huh.